Hello Pisces and welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into your August read. Um, it's a general outlook for the full month of August for you Pisces. We're going to get started with your animal spirits. What kind of animal spirits um, <clears throat> are going to be affecting your month? Uh, they may be spirits that you're resonating with. They may represent people who are coming into your life or actions, energies that are going to be in your life over this August to 30 day August period. All right, so Pisces, let's get into it. Show me what's going on for Pisces. Show me for August. I need two animal spirits for the month. This could be for anybody who has Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Mars in Pisces. The bat, wow. Oof, and the elephant, nice. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, air and fire, the bat. Well, the bat comes out at night, right? Um, the bat is all about um, really getting rid of the things that are lurking in the dark before there's a new dawn, right? The bat is about sort of seeking out things that are hidden in the dark, things that are lurking in the, re in the, in the dark parts of our mind, our psyche, right? Ideas, perhaps that are there, but we don't like to look at them, right? They're hidden, but they're there. Um, and it's time for them to sort of be rooted out, for you to sort of get to a different place, a different place mentally and in your thinking, okay? So bad energy is really all about sort of a mental cleansing that happens right before a big new change that may be coming into your life. So there may be a, a resonating up that you're doing, but there's some kind of shift happening in your life. And this is like the last bit of your previous journey kind of being dealt with. And a lot of that will be to do with your thoughts and how you see the world your, in your sort of mentality. Elephant energy comes in. Well, the elephant is the great destroyer of obstacles. Fire energy. The elephant comes in uh, at a time to absolutely destroy whatever is in your way the elephant is associated with luck and fortune and blessings right and more than anything being able to find your path to your goal right bringing that in it's strong energy the elephant is always a blessing to come in it's very very strong energy and a lot of times the elephant will talk about sort of just your life in general, right? This, it's, you can resonate with an elephant energy, um, but the destroyer of obstacles, oftentimes it comes in like a divine event as well, all right? So Pisces, what is going on for my lovely Pisces for the month of August? Show me. Chariot, there you go. Start of a new journey. The Wheel of Fortune, there's elephant energy coming in. And the moon, damn. Three major arcana at the top. We have two of swords coming in, Pisces. At the center is the six of swords. Ten of cups, wow. This is a great reading. Seven of pentacles. Eight of cups. And an eight of wands. Bottom of the deck, you have a four of wands coming in. Well, this is a really excellent reading. I already feel the energy here. Some of you are making some decisions, but there are decisions in love and life and luck is coming in. There is some testing. You have a lot of eights going on. Eight, eight, 18. Uh, the moon is asso associated with um, the number 18. Wow. Eights are all about boundaries, strength, testing, right? Um, making decisions in the face of uh, the unknown, right? All right, let's get right into it. Chariot energy and Wheel of Fortune energy. Well, you start your month off right away. August is all about you sort of changing direction. You're going to be changing your life's direction this month. And a lot of it is going to be coming down to opportunities coming in fortuitous opportunities the wheel is turning for you this month august pisces and when the wheel turns it's almost as if all of the fates are working together to bring you exactly the right opportunities at the right time it feels absolutely fortunate the wheel of fortune is associated with the planet jupiter okay and jupiter is the planet of luck and success the chariot is there because you're going to be preparing for this path there's preparations to do so this is not just like boom you're on it the chariot talks about Really, um, 
being clear about what paths are you going to take? What type of paths are you going to take in life? What are the things that you will be willing to put up with, will not be willing to put up with? What are your principles going to be? You know, what path are you choosing to walk? Are you choosing to walk the less walk path, a harder path, an easier path? The chariot is all about that sort of uh, setting that, getting that planned and accepting that, right? Seven associated with goals and aspirations, but how will you get to that goal and aspiration? It's also the card for cancer, your sister sign. You're, you're represented here in the moon. This is your card in tarot, Pisces. And um, yes, this is going to be coming in. And there will be some, um, I'm going to be, I'm going to say there will be some moon energy there. Some things will be happening. You're not quite sure why they're happening. It's going to feel very much like a test. And a lot of this is going to be that, that energy also coming in. Sort of really forcing you to have to look at some of the darker sides, some of the things that you haven't necessarily been willing to face for the sake of this new path. And I think now you will have the strength for it. The moon is a testing phase for the strength that you've built up. And so a lot of you Pisces, if you're resonating with this, you will have built up a certain amount of strength in certain areas of your life for the last few years. And now this period in August, you will be tested on that. Okay. Meaning that are you going to be able to make the right decisions, right? And are you going to be able to sort of discern what is going on based on what you've learned and based on the strength that you sort of accumulated within yourself about your own emotions so that you can see things much more clearly. The moon always hides from us and things are always never as they seem, right? So oftentimes the right answer is much more to do about the right answer for you rather than it being a right answer. Oftentimes also the moon is associated with shadows and the fear that shadows present, however, um, that, you know, just having the courage to walk through and to continue on, oftentimes you find out that there is nothing to fear at all because after the moon comes the sun. Two of swords, six of swords, and ten of cups. So after this first period in August, um, Pisces, you come to a decision here, two of swords, and this decision is going to be very difficult for some reason. Two of swords is a feeling of not knowing which way to go. But at the heart of your month will be a desire to move towards harmony. Some of you are going to be traveling. Some of you are going to be moving. Not only are you starting a new chapter in your life with that chariot, but you are physically starting a new chapter in your life. Um, strong energy there for that with that six of swords. But more than anything, it is an absolute desire to uh, move towards a life of harmony, a life of sort of less arguing, less strife. Um, but there is a decision to be made here, and I'll get some clarity on that. Ten of Cups comes in. There is a love connection here. There's a feeling of opportunity coming in for you that may then also result in a love outcome, like the perfect connection, the kind of connection that you can move forward with. You have Four of Wands there, so that lets you know it could be a new connection, but right away, look, here offense marriage and commitment. It is a new connection coming in. Four of Wands is Venus and Aries energy. So Ten of Cups is letting you know that the right decision here will come, you know, how, how shall I say, making the right decision and finding a balance for yourself more than anything, the right decision for you, which is balance oftentimes, could result in a very, very nice um, pairing with someone. This new pairing will come quick. It will be very fast. It will be very, um, I think it will be unex unexpected for some of you. For some of you, it's not so unexpected. For some of you, this pairing has been there. You've been already in this relationship, but it's suddenly going to be like cemented because of the decision that you make in this middle of August period. Very, very nice, Pisces. Very, very nice. It's almost as if a new connection right away turns into... I want to say the possibility for marriage, moving in together, moving together, traveling together. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and Eight of Wands. Well, Pisces, um, this is interesting. The Seven of Pentacles, there is going to be an aspect of wanting, of you really review, reviewing, reevaluating your work and your life. How do you live, your, your stability, your financial stability, your environmental stability, are you happy with it? There's going to be some choices here. Two of Swords, again, is also connected with the Chariot and that Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like somebody may give you a choice. 
Pisces, there may be somebody who comes into you and offers you a choice, right? And that choice may be one that's going to affect your work. They may say something, and I want to say that this person, I, I, I almost feel like this choice coming in is from this person here, this possible love connection that turns very serious very quickly because it's almost as if they say something like, hey, come move with me. Let us go live here together. And it's going to make you really, really reevaluate what you're doing. And, and are you happy where you're at? And can you make that decision, right? It may in, indeed be that you decide that, yes, this may also be good for me uh, in terms of my own financial stability and the work that I can do. Um, may open up opportunities. We'll get clarity here, too, for that. But Eight of Cups and Eight of Wands, there is a feeling towards the end of the month of moving away, okay? Moving away from relationships that aren't sort of satisfactory, that have really been taking more from you than they've been giving to you. So this is interesting. You have a ton of cups, but then you have an eight of cups. So for some of you, you're going to be cutting ties with people in your life, certain people in your life who've been draining you, whoever they may be. This may come on the back of this pairing here with this person. This may also come because of this decision. Pisces, some of you will be involved with somebody who just drains you, right? And so this decision, two of swords, the decision to move to calmer waters with someone, and this testing period, ten of cups, it lets me feel, it lets me know, makes me feel as though you, you're going to have this new love that's come in. It really very quickly resonates to a high degree of commitment and completion. It's going to allow you to make the right decision to move away, maybe even from a current lover or part-time lover that you're with that's really been making you very unhappy. Eight of Wands comes in at the end of the month. There's a little bit of chaos at the end of the month, and you may be required to put some boundaries in place. This may be as a result of this Eight of Cups, this moving away that you're going to be doing, okay? Um, Pisces, some of you, some of you, this will be extremely unexpected, meaning right now you're probably with somebody that you think is this love connection, okay? And in August, Someone else comes along out of the dark like this, Wheel of Fortune, Moon Energy, just out of nowhere. And very, very quickly during the month of August, you will have a decision to be with the person you're with now who you thought you were working on something with. But you may have had your misgivings. You may be having your misgivings about this person already, but you've maybe made some excuses. Nevertheless, this new person who comes in like a flash, Four of Wands, will be the one ultimately, I think, that you may decide to go with. And, and this Eight of Cups is associated with the person you are currently with. That's how fast I feel this energy coming in here, Pisces. Okay? So, uh, you know, what I guess what I'm saying is that this is not necessarily about the one you're with right now. And these changes are coming very, very fast. They may very, very quickly ask you to move with them, this new person, and pull you right away from whoever it is you're with right now. This is what's going to lead, for some of you, to this Eight of Wands down here, which is a lot of uh, confusion and mixed emotions and energy. There will be, have, for some of you, you may have to clean, there may, there may be a bit of a mess to clean up at the end of all this because of how quickly this comes in. Nevertheless, if it's a good reading, it feels good. Because it feels like, to me, you ultimately, ultimately, Pisces, you end up with the person you're supposed to end up with. The one who truly makes you happy, right? Right now, it, it feels like you think this person is making you happy, but you know deep down inside they're not making you all that happy. Queen of Swords, being honest, Page of Pentacles, yup. Page of Wands, Five of Cups, there you go. There's the Eight of Wands, and there's the Ten of Wands at the bottom. All right, so these are the clarifiers. Queen of Swords, being honest with yourself, right? Being honest with who you are and what you want. So this is what starts this whole process off in August. Being truly honest. Some of you may have been playing a role with the current person that you're with, but you decide to move moving forward. You absolutely need to really be who you are and be with somebody who, who understands you, okay? Inklings of that for some of you will be coming in now, knowing that right now you're not really quite there, being that comfortable, but clarity comes in, especially this movement. A lot of luck is coming in for you, and that luck is going to force you really to make, to be more honest with yourself and kind of begin to really think about these decisions. Page of Pentacles is coming in. You're going to be busy, busy, busy at the beginning of August. A lot of work is going to come in for you. 
Um, a lot of day-to-day -day activity is going to be coming in for you. You're going to be concentrating on those types of things. Nevertheless, moon energy is still there to kind of sort of test you. And again, this comes back to a relationship, I think, for some of you. Am I doing the right thing with that moon energy? Am I doing the right thing? And Queen of Swords, I just feel like you're going to be... At the beginning of the month, it's just really going to be like, look, Pisces, you're going to be saying to yourself, am I really happy? Um, you know, I'm with this person. You know, am I holding anything back about who I am to be with them, right? Um, do they really love me for me? You know, or, or can they love me for me if I'm holding back, right? So a lot of times we hold back out of fear. You're absolutely going to be wanting to really, really show your cards and, and who you are and your personality, whatever role you're playing that you've maybe been uh, been playing up until now in this connection reluctantly, you're going to be wanting to give that up. And that's going to be very, very big, that energy. All right? And you're going to be, again, very busy. I, it's going to feel a little bit scary, but with that moon, you know, you press ahead. Page of Wands and Five of Cups. So this decision, again, is going to very much rely on you overcoming fear of following your heart and following your passion, really being true to yourself. Page of Wands is the highest card for overcoming fear, especially when you're trying to be creative and you're trying to follow your personal passion. This decision here, uh, Two of Swords, that's going to be put on you is very much going to be, I want to say, helped along with that Page of Wands fiery energy, Pisces. And again, Five of Cups, there is a hurt piece here, right? So Ten of Cups comes in, and there is, look, there is like personal grief. In the, and so, right? Somebody's going to be hurt. Somebody's going to be hurt. Somebody's going to regret. Somebody's going to be worried. Uh, there may be a feeling of, if you are with somebody already, there may be a feeling of, you know, is this too good to be true? I've, I've you know what I mean? Before, I've messed up before. You're right, following, going after someone thinking it's going to work out. It was didn't work out, right? Um, there is an internal power struggle here to move forward or to stay with what you're with, right? And so, so for some of you, the, the decision is not going to be very, very easy. Um, because this new love connection, it's, it's going to be so fast and so new that you may not trust it either. Nevertheless, that you are still now perhaps in a connection that you think is great. This new love connection is going to only reinforce that you're not as happy as you believe or you're not as happy as you sort of made yourself out to be. Nevertheless, the fastness of all of this, I think, is what's going to cause this kind of struggle here. It may cause you, Pisces, you know, it would be difficult for you to make may feel like it's difficult for you to make a decision. Six of Swords reminds you that ultimately you want to be where you're happiest and where things are closest to who you are and to you being fearless, someone loving you for who you are. I think that will be very much the choice here. Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands comes in and Ten of Wands. So there's been some burden. You've been carrying some hang-ups around with you, Pisces, that you're going to be ready to let go of. You know, whatever those hang-ups are, and a lot of these mixed emotions that are coming in, eight of wands, there's this real issue of boundaries here with someone, right? And again, I want to say it could very well be, I feel like it's with the person that you're leaving here in this position, eight of cups, because it's like one day they're hot, one day they're cold. And this is really giving you the, the anxiety, it's giving you agita, all of that. You, you know, you, this is what's making you realize, how, are you really truly happy here in this connection, Right? And there's, again, this seven of pentacles there in the back to remind you that something about your financial stability, your environment, your living, uh, how you live is, is, is kind of at play here in terms of how you're feeling. All right. So the boundaries are unsure and yet you feel drained here. You could be dealing with somebody who's hot. Like I said, again, hot and cold, hot and cold. You're never sure where you're at with them, but you like them, you're really into them, and then boom, this other person shows up and you realize what true love feels like. It's so fast that it throws you for a loop. Nevertheless, you're ready to lay down a lot of hang-ups back down here at the end of the month and sort of move away from them. Let's see what kind of energies you got going on. This is a very specific reading, Pisces. I hope it's giving you some kind of clarity, honestly. Sorry if I talk fast. Sometimes the, the message kind of just comes down really fast. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, 
You know, because oftentimes, you know, picking love and deciding to go for the right thing is not always so easy, right? Someone is getting hurt. And sometimes you're unsure of yourself. There's definitely a strong feeling of unsurety with that moon, that land of indecision here, the two of swords, the inability to choose yes or no or this way or that way. Nevertheless, though, it all it all comes down to who you how you truly feel, right? How you truly feel in your heart and how close to remember that Queen of Swords is on top of the reading up here, very strong energy. That ultimately being very, very, very honest with yourself about who you are is what's going to inform the rest of this action. Show me, Pisces, for August. Show me. All right. We have Spirit of Light. Spirit of air, wow, and spirit of clover, wow, there you go, okay, spirit of the clover, that's the luck, that's the wheel of fortune coming in, abundance, extreme good luck is coming in this month for you, uh, Pisces, in, in all areas, and this is really going to help you, we also have spirit of air, so clarity, awareness, and truth, speaking to queen of swords, again, being honest with yourself, being absolutely clear with who you are, and what you desire will bring, bring clarity in other situations. And then we have Spirit of Light, Awakening, New Dawn Beginnings. Absolutely beautiful. A new beginning is coming in, a strong new beginning, Pisces. And like I say, I, I, I wanted to be clear here because I feel like at the beginning of the reading, it felt like this closure, this Four of Wands, this Ten of Cups, maybe with the person you're with right now, but I doubt it. You have an Eight of Cups here, which is really strong energy about some of you leaving someone that you're with now, who you already know. You've probably been working on some things with them for quite some time. It may have been like on again, off again, hot again, cold again, and all of this energy, and yet now comes somebody else who really pulls you out. You may have only started dating this person or being with this person, Eight of Cups energy down there, a few months ago. That's why I'm saying that this is going to be very quick energy, and for some of you, it may not. Alright, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Pisces, this is your August reading. Beautiful energy. Um, interesting energy. Quick. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and share if you did. Don't forget to check out my channel for your other readings, like your Twin Flame Journey readings, your Shadow Flame Journey readings, but for right now, Pisces, have a great month. Take care now.